when the European Court of Human Rights gave that decision, it wasn't thinking of particular charges like whether it's 309 through 12, it was thinking of uh, the evidence presented to detain Osman Kabbalah uh, in terms of whether he'd been involved, you know, the convincing, the, the credibility of the evidence in relation to uh, the Gezi protests and uh, the 15th of July coup attempt. And so just by changing the, the charge, but also referring again to the, the 15th of July coup attempt, I don't think, in fact, that Turkey is able to actually sidestep the European Court of Human Rights ruling. And 